Good evening, Vietnam. I don't. <laughs> Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, hello, welcome to Vietnam. <laughs> you remember? Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> good morning, yes, sir. How are you? And that, that was an amazing actor, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like the, I like the, the movie The Centennial Man. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I, I like I actually like all of his movies. Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. I don't even Peter Pan. Peter Pan, yeah. Jack. Remember Jack, where he he plays the role of a kid who grown grows up really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> he, he gets old really fast. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yes. there there's a movie that I like a lot where they plant a theory, you know, where where when you are born, they install a chip on your brain and it records everything, all your life. It's recorded by that chip. Mm. So, so um, Robin Williams plays the, the role of um, an editor. He edits the videos, so he rem uh -huh. he, rem he removes the parts that they don't want to see, and then they can play your whole life edited edited. They can play your whole life in a theater on your funeral. Everybody's watching the movie. Wow! Okay, that nice. <laughs> I mean, it's like. I, is, it's, a, it's a movie that's so, a movie I, but i don't know uh, where I don't, I don't remember i never see <laughs> yeah i can remember it it, it, it has a long name i think mm, okay. hey nelson i haven't sent you the feedback <laughs> it's a nice idea yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a, the final cut. That's the name of the movie. It's from two thousand four. The final, final cut. cut. Okay, I wanna look. Okay. And oh my God, what dreams may come, Daniel? What dreams really? may come? You don't remember uh -huh. what dreams may come with Cuba Downey Jr. He's no, a I don't remember. Robin Williams is um is a doctor I think yeah he's a doctor and his wife no no his kids two kids a boy and a girl they they died in a car accident and then the wife dies wow and, and then he dies. And goes to hell to rescue the wife because the wife's suicide. Wow. So he he decides to go to hell to save her. Okay. And it's a it's a journey to save the love of his life. I mean, and he goes through paintings, you know. And Cuba Downey Jr. is like like an angel on the movie who is oh. guiding him. You don't remember? No, no, I don't see it. Don't what remember. what dreams may come. Okay. That that you can cry with that movie. <laughs> you must. <laughs> you must cry with that movie. And I think the final cut is in Prime Video on, on Warner. Prime Video. Oh, okay. Okay. Prime Video Warner. Okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Nelson, sorry. <laughs> uh tonight, once I'm uploading the video, I'm just gonna send you the feedback. Tell me, Nelson, what do you think about movies do you have a favorite actor or actress yes i have a favorite actor but i i like movies about about robin williams too maybe when when he acts like a baby sister do you remember when he is a father 
when he did work with a babysitter. A babysitter. Uh, yeah, Daniel said Mrs. Dotfire. Yes. Yes. He takes his tools in some to put your even up here. Really? No. Yeah, oh, no, but in the when, movie, in the movie, not in, in real movie, life. In the movie, yeah, in the movie. Oh, okay, in okay, movie. okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought his own kids. Nelson, huh? Yeah, I like that that movie. But another movie that I like to see is our action movies about Jason Statham. Oh, yeah. And, mm. and, and also uh, Steven Seagal. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> old. That's... Yes, but I like it. That's that's good movies. Jean Claude Van Damme. But, <laughs> yeah. Yes, the the Punisher too. Do you remember the, the Punisher? The Punisher, yes. Yeah, that's a superhero. Yes, I like that. Yeah, Jason Statham. Who who's better? Who do you think is better, Steven Seagal or Jason Statham? Mm, Steven Seagal. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because he knows he knows a lot of martial arts. Art and Ma martial, how no, do you say? Martial arts. Martial, uh, martial arts. arts. Yes, a lot of kind or martial how he knows. Yeah. It's not like I, I, you know who I I, I don't I don't like <laughs> the invincible uh Bruce Willis. No, what what's his name? Wait. Oh, it's the a, name of this guy? Oh, it's a, it's with a, the beard. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an actor who's a Ranger Walker, Texas. <laughs> What's his name? I don't, I don't forget that. Oh. Okay. Uh, I forgot his name. We better don't mention him because he can come inside the screen and hit us. You know, <laughs> he's really, really tough. The name, oh, the yeah. name is Walker Ranger. Walker. Uh huh. Walker Ranger, the, of Texas. Yes. Yeah. What What's his name? I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe Daniel remember. I looked at. I looked at. I don't, yeah, I don't remember the name. I just can't remember his name. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Norris. Chuck Man, Norris. all of his movie scenes were made <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> but but he became famous. You know why? Because he fought with uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, ah, yeah. There's yeah. a movie he fought with Bruce Lee. Okay. okay. And that's why he became famous, basically. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay. That's a nice topic, actually. What's your favorite kind of movies, you know, actors? It's a very at this, extensive... At this, at this... How do you say, at this... How do you say, this At this point in my life... At this point of my life, I mm -hmm. only see <laughs> cars up and <laughs> only movie for for kids. <laughs> for children. Oh, really? Cartoon <laughs> movies? Cartoon Anima movie. Animated animated movies, really? Animated animated movies because my uh, because I have a I have I have I have a son three years old. <laughs> Wait, a son or a grandson? A son. A son. A son. Yeah, three years old. My father, my father became a father again, and I have a brother who is nine years old, and a sister who is uh four. Yeah, she's she's like four years old. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what and is the age of What is the age of your father? My father's age is like sixty-seven, I think. Six, uh, 67 and his wife is like 34. Oh, that's okay. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> it's not all right. I mean, but he's working. You know what? That that's amazing okay. because he's always yeah. very energetic. He sells okay. he sells tortillas in Santa Ana. He's very he's, he's very right? yeah he's very famous. He sells okay. tortillas in Santa Ana. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he started his own entrepreneurship with the wife, and that's what they do. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy because he, he that keeps him alive, that keeps him busy, you know, all day. And that that's very good. Uh, I cannot find your attendance. I'm gonna do the attendance before we go any further, so we can jump into the topic tonight. Hey, remember we don't have classes tomorrow. Yay! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Yeah, don't cry. But Please so <laughs> turn tomorrow on your camera. I, I will use two hours for complete the, the, the to complete the, the platform. The, the platform, yes, yes, yeah. Thank you. It's, it's like uh, we have. It's like a, I have a class. Yeah. <laughs> It yeah. won't take you two hours. Nah, it won't take you two hours. Don't worry. Okay, let me go. Adriana Jose Serna Durán. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. It's not coming. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Erika Jasmin Martinez Carpio. And here. Fátima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Thank you. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present, teacher. Listener, I work. Okay. At the beach. Thank, okay. Thank. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Not here tonight. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. No. Jolman Saul Giron Sanchez. Oh, oh yes, there he is. Okay, thank you. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. I think she, she said she was going to be working or something today. Lucy Nathalie Juarez de Ramirez. Right here, teacher. Excellent. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. No. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco and Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Hi. Hi, Ruth. Present. Thank Ruth you. Isela. Thank you. Hi. Um, Okay, guys, I'm concerned. We are just nine tonight, so we have to work together to achieve the goal for tonight. Give me just a minute. Good evening. Let's connect to your class. Okay, so who remembers the last topic we talked about yesterday? We we did some exercises, right? That's all we did. We just did some exercises about not only, but also both and, and neither nor. Okay. Tonight is our 12th class. Am I right? Yeah, today, today is our 12th class. We're halfway there. We are halfway there. And tonight we have to talk about investing on a trained workforce. Investing on a trained workforce. Investing on a trained workforce. So first step, stage number one, we have to brainstorm about this sentence okay investing on a trained workforce does that ring any bell 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 This is a common saying for Americans. Does that ring any bell? Te suena? 
<laughs> That's the meaning. Okay. Does that ring any bell? Investing on a trained workforce. Let's have a brainstorm together here in this room. I want to hear you tonight. John, what do you think about this sentence, this topic? Investing on a trained workforce. I don't remember the meaning of invested. Oh, investing. When you use money wisely. <laughs> when you have $10 and instead of spending $10 to go to the cinema uh, with your girlfriend, you use the $10 and you buy, you buy bread and you resell the bread. So you convert this $10 in $20. That's an investment. I think that's a good explanation of investment. That's investing, Joman. So? Okay, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> On a trained workforce, training. I think teacher in uh, investors in a uh, training force is important because if you need to have a man of people, a qualified people mm -hmm. for for do for do the, hey, 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 wait, wait. Is this the third time you do that? To do. To do. To do. For doing to do. Okay, to do. Okay, to do here. Uh, for the people to, to do his job there, correctly. There, mm -hmm. To do their job, uh-huh. To do their job correctly and you don't, don't, don't have problems in your company. Because the people is work nice. <laughs> it works, mm -hmm. Because people in work my, nice. Okay. Uh -huh. in, in my in my case, uh, I need I need I need when I when I come into the to this company, I go I go I don't um I don't know I don't know how to use the forklift or manipulate manipulate the forklift. Mm -hmm. And the, and the company send send me. Uh, to the to uh, training. Wait, so you didn't know how I, to I use a forklift? A forklift, exactly. In my in my company, pay to the company to other company to training in a in a in a forklift. How uh, say in a forklift class? In a forklift class, yes, exactly. Yes, how to manipulate the, the forklift. Mm -hmm. Was it interesting? Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> did you did you learn? Yeah, exactly. I, I, I use the forklift when, when I have a plane with uh, pallets of of low. Uh, we need to, to we need to move the how say the? How do you say the carga? The carga of the planes. 
the load. The load, uh -huh, the load. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We, we need to we move the load and we use the forklift in the, in the place. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, that's, <laughs> wow. You know, I, I really admire that because it's not easy. I mean, a forklift is not like just grabbing the wheel. You exactly. have to use the the shifters, yeah. right? Yes, the shifter for the front, rear, up, up, down, one, 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 to the to the right, to the left. Oh my God! If if if, if, um, if you if it's very complicated when you don't have don't don't see the, the trunk. You need other you you need other people uh, uh, to next to you to uh, guide you to, to to guide me yes with signals yes come in come on come on come on yeah it's dangerous Let's it's very ride. dangerous it's tough I don't know yeah <laughs> it's complicated it's definitely uh, okay uh -huh. it's nice. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's very exciting to be driving that around, dropping things. <laughs> I have seen many videos of people dropping things at the warehouse, you know, <laughs> with the fur kits. Beers, I'm there, I'm there. beers. No, if, yeah. if, I, if I have, if I do someone, the, the company fire me. Really? Nah. I, I, I can I cannot I cannot uh, commit errors. Cannot make mistakes. Make mistakes because if if I um, damage that I I have damage in a plane. Wow, <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> yep, that's right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Daniel. That's true. Okay, one more, Adriana. What comes to your mind with that sentence? Investing on a trained workforce. You work for um, recruitment, right? Don't you? Mm. Recruiting uh, people? Mm. What is the question? Do you work on recruitment? Oh, no, no, no. No? I, me? Mm -hmm. Your company? Um... My companies, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So about investing on trained workforce. Mm. Investing on a trained workforce. Uh huh. What comes to your mind? Okay. Um. I don't. I don't know how to use synonyms with investing, but I. Th I know the the meaning, but I don't. I don't know how to. To, to use synonyms so um I think that is like when the companies use the results uh, like uh, their their money <laughs> to to try to have a a, a better workforce and this is important because if you don't have, for example, in or in my company, uh, if we if they if they don't train or work for, they will have a, a employees with knowledge like a uh, obsolete, and that is very important for us because we have to be like update in our area so outstanding 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 on your areas okay right you have to outstand you know uh sobre salir, right outstand on uh, your areas mm, yes yes it's like when well well uh, like actualizados no outdated uh, we we don't cannot have outdated employees i got that part oh, yes, okay, okay. yes yes <laughs> okay okay Okay, good job. Definitely. One more, Fatima. Yeah, um, my work, I know the 
the co-workers in this area in human resource mm -hmm. and i see when when go to recruit men people but in my case i never a uh, job in this area you've never worked i never work in the human resource area okay but what do you think about <laughs> investing on trained workforce on a trained oh. workforce it's like the company putting money into hiring trained people or training their workforce yeah um it's important because uh in my company for example uh recruit 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 people recruit people, the universities, and um, um, invest in teacher. Invest? Invest in training in Don Bosco University for capacitate. Uh, to train. And, mm -hmm. Yes, and train and create knowledge about technical airplanes. Oh, yeah, that's technical knowledge is, you, you know what, but, but it's just that technical knowledge is not just a theory. You cannot, I, I always said that, that you cannot train someone um, on a technical field without having the experience of touching, doing, you know, it's impossible. I mean, just the theory, it's like training a doctor, a doctor who started to become a doctor with virtual classes, right? Yeah. I mean, yes. Wow. And that's impossible. So the same thing for technicians in, in aircrafts, um, even civil engineers, system engineers, you know, I heard, I heard they changed the system engineering career for a licentiate, a licentiate in system engineering. And I was like, yeah. did you hear that? But the technical is just bachelor? 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 Bachelor, yes. No, no, I'm talking about the career was before system engineering and they transformed the name they changed the title to licenciatura in, in ingeniería en sistemas mm -hmm. yes so now they are not longer engineers now they are licenciados licenciates <laughs> like what? what what yeah yeah that, that, i heard that yeah so and, and many people in this i don't know if this is just a rumor Daniel or everybody, because we used to talk about this when I was studying the engineering, that many people prefer technicians to like uh, to engineers. They prefer technicians to engineers because the technician usually goes on the field and and do do things. You know, they work with their hands, so they experience. Let me give you an example. Um, my brother, one of my brothers, has worked on the cabling and internet field for, oh my God, like 20 years. He has been on the streets of El Salvador for about 20 years. He has a lot of experience with cabling, you know, connections, um, the signal of the internet, the signal of the cable, and everything and and he always has a job he's always working and he knows a lot but he is not a huge you know a supervisor or something in in a higher position because he is just a technician but the funny thing is that sometimes not his boss but the boss of the boss of the boss of his boss calls him to ask for recommendations 
you know, like, hey, uh, what can we do here? You know, we have this problem. And he's like, mm hmm mm hmm Okay, do this, 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 and that. Okay, bye. <laughs> and I'm like, why? I should have his position. He tells me, why don't you study the career? I tell him, you already have the experience. Why don't you study the career? Uh, it's too late. Um, he's 42. Do you think 42 years old is too late to study a career? No, oh. right? No. Okay. One last thought. One last thought. There is a man, uh, I think he's Spanish. He's Spanish. His name is Jordi Rosado. No, Jordi something. I'll I'll get the, the video and, and send it to you. Um, this guy became famous because of some videos, motivational videos. And he 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 ha he was a a tatter. I think that's the way you say tartamudo. How do you say tartamudo? Tartamudo. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Spanish. Ah. <laughs> in English. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I I forgot. Wait, I I cannot let it go. Stutter, stutter. Even the name sounds difficult. Stutter, stutter. Okay. When he was a kid, his father uh, noticed. Do you know that stutterers is being a stutter is a problem. Uh, a lot. Uh, um, but how can we call this? It's an emotional problem. Most part of the times, it is an emotional problem, and it can be corrected in childhood. Okay. So he couldn't speak fluently when he was a kid. And somehow he his dream, his dream was to work for the radio. Mm -hmm. To become uh, you know a presenter of music and the radio because he grew up with the Beatles, you know, presenting music on the uh, he loved that. And every week he used to save his money, the money that his dad used to give him, um, to buy a record, one record per week. Because back in the 70s, right, Daniel? New music was uh, launched every week. The Beatles had a new disc. The Rolling Stones had a new disc. I don't know, a lot of people throwing new music. And listen, Adriana, did you know... <laughs> I'm just kidding. There was, there were cabins with headphones. So you could go to the CD store, to the music store, get the record and listen it on the cabin before you buy it. So how cool was that? And he was buying records every week. He got to know, he got to know a lot of their favorite, his favorite artists he became knowledgeable meanwhile now this he says that he he wrote a story there was a homework on fourth grade and he, they had to write a story he wrote a story about an extraterrestrial who came to earth and was trapped on earth and he was calling his mother does that ring any bell? Yeah. So he says that he wrote the first version of E.T. Mm. And nobody believes him. You know, somehow later on, Steven Spielberg stolen his idea and he made the movie. The thing is that he was very creative. Now, bottom line. Um, or long story short long story short he gives conferences so he went to this little town and he talked about never being too late to learn something new to do new stuff and an 80 i think it was an 80 an 80 year old man listened to his conference like 10 years later 10 years later, he came back to this same place and this 80-year-old, 
approached him and, and, and told him, listen, I was here listening to you 10 years ago. And I was 80 years old. So I went to the university and I graduated from two careers in 10 years. And now I'm wondering what am I going to do with my life now? I have to do something else. I'm 90 years old and I'm wondering what, what's next? What is next? Should I study something else? Oh my God, that's that's a lot. So I'll send you the video so you can see it. It's never too late to learn something is true. And it is important to invest on training your employees, no matter what it is. So I'm going to start presenting some thoughts, um, parts of what we're doing tonight. And I'll need your help reading. Whoop, that's a lot. Okay. Hope you can see this. And it's not very offensive to the viewers, the letters in white. Is this all right or does your eyes hurt? I think you can see that, right? Okay, who helps me reading? I can help you. Please, go ahead. Okay. Training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees. But many employers find the development opportunity, opportunities expensive. Employees also miss out on work time while attending training sessions, which may delay the completion, completion of project. Com completion, uh huh. Despite the potential drawbacks, training and development provides both the companies as a whole and the individual employees with benefits that make the cost and time a worthwhile investment. In your own words, someone. Thank you, Vanessa. Somebody in your own words. Okay. While you think, <clears throat> while you think, I'm just gonna go underlining some keywords or new words that I will consider are new words for you. Miss out. Get the concept quickly. What what comes to your mind when you see the the word miss out? Drawbacks. Maybe it is for me, I don't know. Miss out. I'm sorry to per I didn't get what you said. Permit or what? Yes, omit. Is is omit. Out? Um, um, omit. Thank you. And please also omit on work. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a phrasal verb that could be used without the preposition, actually. You can say employees also miss, okay, work, but you didn't, you wouldn't need both prepositions. Miss out on, and you know what? This is a double uh, preposition phrasal verb. Miss out on, miss out on work time while attending training sessions which may delay the completion of projects despite, oh, do you know what is despite? Spanish, despite. A pesar. Okay. Excellent, thank you. A pesar de, that's the best translation. The potential drawbacks. What is a drawback? No, it's like when somebody quits, right? It's quitting, that, that's a synonym, to quit. Okay, to quit, to leave your job, okay. As a whole, do you understand that term, as a whole? Provides both the company as a whole and the, in the individual employees 
with benefits that make the cost and time a worthwhile investment. Uh-huh, as a whole. For me, it's like a completely, all, all the, the Excellent. The mm -hmm. It's completely, give me synonyms, perfect. What is worthwhile? I will have used worthy instead. I would have used worthy instead of worthwhile. Do you understand that? No. Worthy is that it it's something good. Something good. I mean, doing that um, it's a good effort. It's not something that um you did in vain you know in vain it's not done in vain you're doing the right thing worth valer worthwhile is a good effort that you're doing investing in that makes sense makes sense that's the same synonym synonym okay so in your own words Look at the first section of the of the text, how it says, training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base on all employees, but many employers find the development opportunities expensive. Believe it or not. Hey, did you know or have you heard that Insaflorp may disappear? Yes. <laughs> you heard that? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Man, that's sad. And I'm not saying that because of my job. No, I'm just saying because of the thousands of employees that take advantage of these courses, you know. It's a lot of people. So in this point, many employers find the development opportunities expensive, but they pay this, you know, we pay for it. There's a lot of money on this. Um, okay. Why is a, it's expensive? But I think I got their point. When you're an employer, you don't want to let the employee miss time, you know, lose time going to a training. If it will not contribute, you don't see the contribution of it in a, in a near future. You just see your current production okay my god the production is going to be stopped because these guys are going into a training so under under uh labor time you know so that's expensive for the company makes sense but in our case for example you're taking classes on your own time on your free time okay okay benefits In the end, you're investing for the future, the near future. Next part, I'm just going through this instead of sending you to read. Uh, nah, I think it's better if we collaborate and stay here and talk about this. Next, uh, who can help me reading? Hold on. This is the topic, addressing employee weaknesses. Me too, sir. Thank you, Nelson. The old teacher. Yeah, please. Okay. Addressing employee weaknesses. Most employees have some weaknesses in their workplace skills. A training program allows you the strengthening tools, skill that each employee needs to improve. A development program brings all employees to a higher level so they all have a similar skills and knowledge. This helps reduce any weak links within the company who 
really, really heavily on others to complete basic work tasks. Providing the necessary training creates an overall knowledgeable staff with employees who can take over for one another as needed. Yep. Work on teams or work independently without constant help and supervision from others. Excellent. Oh my God, this last section is, is critical nowadays. Right now, this is critical. Let's see some vocabulary here. That you may not be familiar with this. All of you, strength, strength, synonym, strength. Strength, Arena. Uh-huh. No. Synonym. Power. Fortalecer. For, for, um uh -huh. Fortalecer. That that's like the translation of strengthen. Strengthen. Okay. Um 2005, febrero 15, renuncio a un trabajo porque me acaban de ofrecer trabajar en un call center. Ganaba 174.50. El tipo que me llamó hablaba cinco idiomas. Eh, una gran persona, una gran persona. Ahora es ella, ya no es él. El punto es que ese tipo, desde el primer día, lo primero que me enseñó fue eso. Mira la raíz de las palabras. Siempre buscar en la raíz a las palabras. So there, strengthen, strengthen, strengthening, strengthening. Viene de strength, de fuerza, ¿no? Y muy bien, fortaleza. So, always look at the root of the words. That, that's a common. If you don't find a root, he said, read beyond the word and behind the word. So you can understand in context what's the meaning of the word. Makes sense, right? So, yeah, strengthen, strengthen allows you to strengthen those skills. Super bien, Nelson. Super good. Those skills. Those skills. You join the sounds, and that's good. Um, next word, rely. Rely. Rely heavily. Heavily. Okay? Heavily. And this is a... Hmm. Superlative. No, wait. Adverb. This is an adverb, heavily. It's heavy, heavily. Okay. Rely heavily on others to complete basic work tasks. Providing. Here, most teachers will teach you to say providing, providing the necessary. Mm. Okay. Providing. Ring, ring. The D is in the middle of two vowels. So I will suggest you to say providing. The necessary training creates. And overall, long words. My advice with long words, break it in pieces. And again, what's the root? What is the root of no legible? What is the root word for no legible? Yep, okay. I mean, the root of the world is no, okay? Then you have ledge, which make, which is a uh, suffix, which gives it a different meaning. No, saber, the verb. Knowledge, the noun, conocimiento. And the suffix able, able, means the capacity of, okay? Mm, speakable, watchable, readable, 
doable, doable to have the capacity of doing something, doable, knowledgeable, conocedor. <laughs> okay, okay. Knowledgeable, conocedor significa. Yeah, overall knowledgeable stuff. This is a synonym of wise. Wise, W-I-S-E, a wise person. Okay. Um, that What's the meaning of wise? I forgot. Sabio, right? Sabio, wise. A wise person, a knowledgeable person. Una persona conocedora. A knowledgeable, 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 knowledgeable. Okay. Stuff. Uh, independent. Again, the root, independent. Lee. This L-Y means mente, right? I think I told you that before. The L-Y in Spanish means mente, and it makes the adjective uh, an adverb. It creates an adverb just by adding L-Y. Independent, independently. Independently, independently, without, without, without. Okay, so, oh, going back there, identifying weaknesses, addressing weaknesses, I'm sorry, on your employees. I like the last part, work on teams or work independently without constant help and supervision from others. Have I told you that I work independently, not just teaching English, but for the call center? I, I work directly for the call center, but my point is nobody nobody is helping me to do my job at the call center. They did. They did for like six months or so. And after that, I'm at home. I'm working by myself. I know that I have goals to achieve. They send me emails and they say, do this, 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 and that. Okay. I know. Okay, I don't need supervision because I already I was already trained. And just like me, there are like 20 other people in their homes, you know, chill, chilling. No manager, no supervisor taking care of them, working on their own independently without constant help or supervision. Makes sense, right? Do you like that idea? Do you think it's something good? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. That's something good. Good. Just remember Jim Carrey. Okay. Improved employee performance. Who's next? Adriana. <clears throat> okay, improved. Oh, thank employee. you. <laughs> okay, improved employee performance. An employee who, who receives the necessary training is better able to perform her job. She be her job? Yeah, no, it's wrong. I'm sorry. It should say <laughs> its job, right? Uh -huh. uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> she becomes a more aware of safety uh, practices and proper procedures for basic tasks. The training may also build the employee's confidence because she has a stronger understanding of the industry and the responsibilities of her job. This confidence may push her to perform if ever, even the better and think of new ideas that help her excel. Continuous training also keeps your employees on the cutting, cutting edge of industry developments. Employees who are com competent and on the top of changing industry and standards help your company hold a position as a leader and a strong competi com competi 
competitor, competitor, Mm -hmm. eh, competitor <laughs> within the industry. Good job. Okay. Let's go with this. Uh, repeat competitor. 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 Com competitor. Sí. Um, miren, háganme caso. Eh, prefiero que se equivoquen, que rara vez se van a equivocar siguiendo este consejo de convertir la T entre dos vocales o la D entre dos vocales en una R en la pronunciación. Rara vez se van a equivocar y van a encontrar una palabra que no tenía que leerse como R, la T o la D. Eso rara vez le va a pasar. Pero prefiero que se equivoquen una vez en mil. ¿Ya? ¿Sí, sí me entienden? So, con P, Ritor, Ritor, Ritor. Yo odiaba esta R. Ayer me dijo mi hija que no puedo pronunciar la R. Te está pasando lo mismo que a mí. Le digo, la historia se repite y cabal en segundo grado. Same thing. De hecho, tenemos un problema porque nuestro apellido es Rodríguez. So, el DRI es el que ya no puede pronunciar. ¿no? <laughs> same thing. The same thing. Ok. Competitor. Competitor. Oh, cutting. Cutting edge. Let's see the, the terms, okay? She becomes, it becomes more aware. Hmm. A synonym for more aware. Well, yeah, aware. A synonym for aware. Starts with a C. Concision. Like. Good, conscious. <laughs> conscious. Okay. More conscious. Good job. She becomes, or it becomes more conscious. Okay, more aware of safety practices and proper procedures. Now, in, in this case, it's not procedures. Procedures, uh -huh. it's procedures. Jurors. Procedures. Yeah, thank you for repeating procedures. Um, the industry, when you have the article, the article, the, okay, this guy, and you have this guy before a vowel sound, then it sounds like the, okay? The United States, the universe, the industry, okay? And the Bible, the court, the field, etc. the book, okay? The, the before consonant, the before vowel. These are just general rules for pronunciation. Um, so moving on, any new words? Cutting edge, what's cutting edge? It's like pioneros. Good, good. That's right, cutting edge. The top right, you're the best, let's say. Or or, it's like when you become the most recognized company on, on X market niche, you know, like shampoos. If I say shampoo, who comes to your mind? Really quick. Who comes to your mind when I say shampoo? Hair. What, Vanessa? Hair, hair. I don't know, I, I mean, what product comes to your mind? Shampoo. Head and shoulders? Shoulder. Yes. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> if I say stop, you know, stop for rubbing your- Protect. 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 Protect, yeah, if I say oil. How about you long? <laughs> oh, no, really? Uh, I want the cuche. How about something? Hey, does that exist in El Salvador? There's no how about in El Salvador. Yes. What? Uh, no, 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 no. I, That's Mexican. I, yeah, Mexican, but they call it, but my uncle is called, he, from USA, he's come with one. <laughs> uh, I remember, I remember the jabón de cuche. My grandfather, my grandfather used to, used to. It's a big, it's a big ball. 
Yeah, it was a big ball. It smelled terrible. Yeah. Right? Wow. Oh, <laughs> the smell was horrible. Okay, so you got my point, right? Uh, that's to be um, at the cutting age, at the cutting age of the industry. And it means that you are the best on that product line, let's say. Okay, guys. Uh, shall we continue? No. Then we have something called structured training and development, which is we what we have been talking about, employee job satisfaction. I think I will move on with this one. And I'll have Ivan reading this, if you may. Mr. Petrovic, if you may help us, please. Hello, hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Employees, job satisfaction. Employees with access to training and to develop programs have the advantage over employees in other companies who are left to the seek out training opportunities on their own. The investment is in the training that a company makes so the employees they are valued. The training creates a supportive workplace. Employees may gain access to training they would have otherwise, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, know about or sound about themselves. Employees who feel a pressure and challenging through training opportunities may feel more satisfaction towards their job. Hey, good job, Ivan. Thank you. You read very well, actually. Just uh, this this word is not an easy word, but the um the stress is in the second syllable. Advantage, advantage. Got it? Advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. E the endings valued, valued. 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 Uh, makes makes shows the employee they are valued. Otherwise, uh, no about or sort out themselves. If you haven't heard this word, on it means that you are not watching CNN in English. <laughs> they use it a lot to sort out, sort out themselves. What do you understand by sort out? It's a synonym. Mm -hmm. Looking context, reading context. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about or sought out themselves. So if you don't have a job, you don't have a way to have access to trainings or to figure out, that's another synonym for sort out, figure out that there were trainings for any sort of applications. Okay. Uh, in the end is appreciated. Appreciate? Appreciated. Appreciate it. Good job. Next, challenged. Again, challenge. Challenged. 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 Okay, uh, and toward, toward their jobs. Do you know the meaning of that preposition? May feel more satisfaction toward their jobs. Quickly, what's the meaning of ch toward? Asia. Excellent. You got it. Okay, so basically uh, we're talking about something related to the previous job, the previous um, topics. In your own words, uh, we have seen this a lot, I know. But what are the effects of training on employees' performance? Um, as we saw before, we can find ways of determining 
what are the effects of the training trainings i'm sorry on employees we learned how to evaluate these effects through the rubrics we we made yesterday um but briefly let's talk about this um topic in more depth Give me just a minute because I had separated this, but I've missed it. We did see that already. We talked about assessments already. So I'm going to split you in three small groups and there are three topics that I want you to work on briefly. But what I would like you to do, let me see your creativity, is find a tool, research about a possible tool or make it up even better, create it, okay? About the topic that you will be working on. So since I'm making three teams, let's see how it ends, how this turns out. Let me see how this turned out. The first group will be composed by Hector, Jamie, Carla, and Vanessa. I think we could work. Carla is busy. Jamie, I think Jamie can participate. Vanessa too. Hector is working. No. Uh, on the second group, I have Adriana, Daniel, Fatima, and Ruth. Ruth can work with Fatima and Daniel too. Adriana is not busy. Okay, perfect. Number three, we have Ivan, Jolman, Lucy, and Nelson. This, this is perfect. Okay, so group number one, again, Hector, Jamie, Carla, and Vanessa. You need to work on skill development. The first topic, skill development. Group number two, Adriana, Daniel, Fatima, and Ruth. You need to work on self-development. Self-development. And room number three will be Ivan, Jolman, Lucy, and Nelson. You will work on feedback. These are three topics that you need to develop. So, lo único que necesito que hagan es leer lo que ahí dice, investigar un poco más sobre eh, estos um, metas para empleados, perdón, metas de los entrenadores uh, de desarrollo de empleados, entrenadores de desarrollo de empleados. ¿Cuáles son las metas que ellos persiguen? Referente a cada uno de estos tres fields. Ahora bien. Mi idea es que ustedes puedan desarrollar en este momento, investigar o desarrollar sobre herramientas, alguna o una herramienta, o crear ustedes una herramienta. Oops, sorry, let me paste it again. Lo voy a pegar otra vez. Um, crear una herramienta para poder desarrollar o evaluar estas tres áreas. Skill development, self-development, en feedback. ¿A qué me refiero con herramienta y por qué les estoy hablando en español? Porque estos son temas un poco complejos, ¿no? ¿Eh? Eh, si hablamos de que yo, como entrenador de desarrollo de personal, tengo expectativas de resultados después de un entrenamiento, ¿cómo las puedo medir? Rúbricas, obvio, pero eh, ¿qué técnicas puedo aplicar yo para determinar, para aplicar el feedback, por ejemplo? Esa es la más sencilla. Podrían hablarme del, de la técnica del sándwich. <ríe> Por ejemplo, que eso es como el trend ahorita, como dar feedback y eso les va a ayudar para su vida. Si Dios les permite, o ya son supervisores, eh, como darle feedback a un empleado sin dañarle su autoestima y que se vaya a suicidar, en serio, eh, esto ayuda muchísimo, créanme. Como dar feedback con el sándwich technique. Eh, Self-development, cómo hacer que una persona alcance a ser autosuficiente. Wait a minute. Tengo skill development, self development. Ahí está. Estamos abajo. En feedback. Son tres fields. So, 
again, el primer grupo, Héctor, Jamie, Carla, and Vanessa, go with skill development. Adriana, Daniel, Fatima, and Ruth, go with self-development. Okay. In room number three, Ivan, Jolman, Lucy, and Nelson, go with feedback. Okay, questions? No. Okay. No. Les dejo a su criterio si quieren hacer una pequeña presentación o solo discutirlo en grupo, ver lo que, es lo que se va a decir, investigarlo y definir quién lo va a presentar. It's up to you. Ok. Thank you. Let's go. Ay no, teacher, I don't, I don't understand this topic on, ni siquiera en español, yo voy a hacer en inglés. Ok, let's see, skill <laughs> development, employees. <laughs> think, 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 think. No, teacher, es que no lo aplico en mi trabajo, entonces yo no sé, no conozco de estos temas, entonces no sé. Do you think that I apply it? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, I don't apply it. Not not right now. I'm not applying skill development right now. Techniques of employees who lack some of the skills necessary to complete their jobs may need some additional training. That's it. Um. Okay. Uh, básicamente está hablando de lo que hemos estado viendo en los últimos la última semana. Um. Si un empleado no tiene la capacidad suficiente para desarrollar sus tareas cotidianas en el trabajo, por supuesto que hay que necesitar eh, mm -hmm. entrenamiento, ¿no? Let's see, employee development trainers are generally responsible for identifying these deficiencies and helping the employee to acquire skills through further training and education. Employee skills should match the job for which they are hired But ideally, the training should also help the employee develop additional skills that will lead to career advancement later on. Se los pinto con un caso. Tenía un compañero, compañera, que nunca, jamás llegaba a la meta. Um, la empresa es muy, ¿cómo diría esto? Muy paciente. Ah, imagínense, aguantadora la empresa. Pues. No quería, no, no les gusta dejar ir a la gente. Um, 
esta persona pasó tres meses, primer mes una acción de personal escrita, segundo mes, segunda acción de personal escrita, tercer mes, ok, uh, entra en un plan de acción en el cual o, o cambia o cambia. Ahora, como gerente yo aprendí que cuando esto ocurre, cuando a alguien se le da una oportunidad, se le llama la atención y no corrige el rumbo, la primera vez puedes identificar si tenés esta, esta cualidad, si es un problema de actitud. ¿Y qué fue lo que ocurrió con esta gente? Lo que les quiero decir al, 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 para ir directo al punto es, cualquiera, bueno, intentaron corregir el problema amenazándole, o sea, es decir, malos supervisores, cuya única solución a los problemas es decir, mira, si seguías así te vas a ir, si seguías así te vas a ir y te ponen acciones de personal, no. Uh, ¿Qué se hizo entonces? Pues se identificó que el problema es un problema de actitud. Ok, se abordó por ese lado. ¿Cómo se abordó por ese lado? Se le habló, pues, que, ¿qué onda? Bro? O sea, algo pasaba ahí, no era normal. Eh, estaba haciendo algo desde su casa, sin, se le iba a mandar a, a la oficina. Y pues al final se determinó que el problema era, le va a dar risa, distracción. A un problema de, de confianza en sí mismo. No confiar en el conocimiento adquirido. Y ojo, espero que me estén entendiendo. ¿Sí me escuchan? Sí. Ok. El problema es, era que la persona tenía el conocimiento, pero dudaba mucho de sí mismo. So, se corrigió dándole un entrenamiento, un entrenamiento de self autoestim, de autoestima. Eso fue todo. Entender que ya tenía el conocimiento, aplicarlo y sin temor a equivocarse. Si se equivocaba, pues ni modo. Porque el problema era que hacía demasiado lenta las cosas. Se sacaba así en calidad, estaba haciendo bien todo su trabajo, pero demasiado lento. No me estaba produciendo suficiente. Entonces, ¿cómo acelerar las cosas? Agarrar confianza en ti mismo y saber que lo que estás haciendo está bien hecho y ya. That's it. That's basically it. Skill development. Desarrollo de destrezas. O sea que solo vamos como a enlistarlas. Y un poco explicarla. Explicar en qué consiste el skill development. Eh, quizá fallé en algo acá. No enviarles el tema eh, de dónde sale esto. Goals for employee development trainers. Estas son las metas que un entrenador de desarrollo de personal se pone. ¿Qué, qué es lo que espera? Y ahí lo explica eh, la pequeña lectura, ¿no? Ahora, ¿qué es lo que van a hacer ustedes? Pintar un ejemplo. Pueden poner el que les acabo de poner. Pero, ¿qué van a hacer para... O sea, ¿qué entrenamiento se debería llevar a cabo, por ejemplo, en esas circunstancias, no? Porque esto habla de, eh, de... De que les faltan las habilidades necesarias para completar su trabajo. Pero, ¿qué, qué habilidades? Y es el ejemplo que les estoy pintando. La habilidad que les faltaba era de autoestima. Era un problema de autoestima. No era una habilidad de que... Um, no tenía las herramientas adecuadas, no había entendido parte de cómo funciona el sistema o algún proceso. No, era un problema de eh, autoestima. ¿Sí? Sí, pues bueno. Ok. No, como dijo usted, kind of, o algo así, te dijéramos. <laughs> yes, kind, kind of. of, kind of, yeah, kind. sort of. I got it. Ok. <laughs> relean esto van a ver que comprenderán poco a poco o sea hay que segmentarlo así como lo he hecho yo y hallarle sabor a la cosa ok ok I know Try por eso no he estudiado recursos humanos porque no me gusta mm. <risa> y como les digo siempre si un día Diosito les pone la oportunidad y ya van a estar listos. So, try it. Ok. Um, empleado, se podría decir, las nuevas herramientas que ya, que ya tiene. ¿Qué tanto el producto se, se sigue manteniendo eh, en, en venta alto? ¿O se ha bajado el producto? ¿Qué se está ofreciendo? ¿Se han habido quejas o reclamos por parte de los, de los clientes? 
con qué rapidez se manejan esas quejas y pues si, el, los, si hay algunas recomendaciones o también podríamos poner las que tanto se resuelve con las horas no sé, algo así se va leyendo, como unas variables, no sé. I will a technique to sell improvement to build reappraisal skills. Is a, an emotion regulation strategy that can help us interpret interpret a stressful situation in a way. What is that it? Is the bill reappraisal skills the cross mm, maybe if you go writing in the chat <laughs> oh. Oh, okay Person.
Okay, what I'm understanding from your topic is that the trainer um uh, self development the the trainee needs to have that skill of self development. So he needs to always be learning and lead by example. I mean the, the whole intention of that goal for the for the employee development trainer is to show to lead by example, to lead by example. So all employees can see him. And I think at the same time, he's helping the company um, by pursuing a better employee model. You know, as a trainer, everybody sees that you're learning something. You're always reading a book, for example. So everybody admires you as a, development trainer and when employees look for your advice they always find an answer or new new ways of doing things yeah mm. makes sense right mm. <laughs> no <laughs> ok por eso les puse la met um, el tema al final ahí en el whatsapp porque se me olvidó poner el principio casi como el header oh, um, yeah. <risa> estamos viendo esto de la perspectiva de un uh, desarrollador de personal un entrenador de desarrollo de personal un entrenador de desarrollo de personal cuál es una de las perspectivas que tiene o una meta que él se fija eh, pues ser ejemplo un modelo a seguir para los demás empleados y la empresa espera que él haga eso porque usualmente dice la lectura se le ve como alguien eh, como, como alguien más de recursos humanos un entrenador que solo está ahí cuando se necesita preparar unos empleados o desarrollar algún entrenamiento específico esa persona lo va a hacer pero se debería de esperar o el entrenador de desarrollo personal debería de buscar self ¿qué dice? self development Ajá, desarrollarse a sí mismo siempre, siempre estar buscando la manera de desarrollarse a sí mismo. Y eso solo se logra, pues, buscando uh, temas relacionados a la compañía, a procesos, a autoestima. O sea, una persona, de hecho, un entrenador debería, en teoría, de ser una persona muy autosuficiente. Muy, ¿cómo se diría, Adriana? ¿Cómo se dice, Sofi? Fátima, eh, es, 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 no es autosuficiente, sino que maneja diferentes rubros. ¿Cómo se dice eso, Daniel? Dice la palabra, pero no se me viene a la mente. Multifacético. Creo. Una persona multifacética, o sea, conoce de todo. No sé si han conocido a alguien así en su trabajo. En algún multitask. Lado. No, multitask es que puede ser muchas ah, cosas al mismo tiempo. Cierto, cierto, cierto. Pero multifacético es que conoce de todo. O sea, le, <risa> tiene muchas fases, <risa> muchas facetas. Una persona que lo pone en soporte técnico sabe de eso, sabe de ventas, sabe de recursos humanos. O sea, está hecho para todo, como dicen. So, eso sería, ¿no? Get the idea. Ahora, ¿cómo, ¿qué herramienta podría utilizar para, para llevar a cabo eso? Que eso se dé. Hmm. Pero, eh, ¿como así en sí mismo o, co o que se dé en, en los empleados? Ambos. Tras uno va a llegar lo otro. Ah. Lo principal es lo primero. Mm. Ajá. Okay, okay. que él se desarrolle a sí mismo ¿no? Mm. y explicar esto más que todo, lo que yo espero de ustedes ahorita es que me digan, eh, esto se podría um, hacer a través de leer libros, o sea incentivar al entrenador okay. incentivar al entrenador, que tanto por tantos libros ha leído <risa> y así que él cree una biblioteca de lectura para los empleados, o sea un montón de ideas podrían surgir de esto como para ser el modelo a seguir de la empresa 
porque al final el entrenador es eso, es un molde que nuevos empleados tienen que adaptar. Imagínate qué responsabilidad, ¿no? No se ve así, pero en realidad sí debería de ser. So, think about it. Okay. Just give another option or tools following the the paragraph. Just you need other tools and how to develop maybe the knowledge. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes, my friend. friend. Right now, yes. Uh, okay. Teacher, we have to talk about the topic. Your topic is the feedback. Yes, we yeah. have to talk about that. And we have to, to use a tool. To, to to check the results o eso está bien fácil ahora estamos hablando de las metas de los entrenadores de desarrollo de personal metas que tiene o expectativas que tiene un entrenador de desarrollo de personal desde su perspectiva el feedback vamos a ver Uh, los entrenadores de desarrollo de personal deberían ser capaces de, de proveer uh, retroalimentación útil y consistente para que los empleados puedan ver las áreas en las que han mejorado y estas en las que aún están eh, atrasados, digamos. Eh, la retroalimentación debe de ser motivadora y táctil, o sea, directo al punto, en lugar de simple, en lugar de simplemente indicarle qué es lo que está haciendo mal. Las deficiencias deberían de ser anotadas, pero solo en relación al trabajo en general, incluyendo el reconocimiento de Del, des, del desempeño negativo tanto como el positivo el sandwich technique señores o sea eh, en toda empresa en teoría debería de existir un entrenador de desarrollo de personal una persona que es como un rol a seguir para los demás empleados una persona multifacética, le decía al grupo anterior que está viendo lo de self-development, de auto, autodesarrollo, eh, en el cual la empresa confía en que él, por ser multifacético, no importa si un empleado que está en ventas o otro que está en technical support, otro que está en, en contabilidad, o incluso la gerencia a veces, confía en él para consultarle. Ojo, entonces, en este sentido de dar feedback de dar eh, retroalimentación a los empleados sobre sus buenas accionar y el mal accionar eh, se refiere a eso nada más hacerlo de una manera positiva no solo recalcando las cosas negativas les ponía el ejemplo del primer grupo eh, ¿qué prefieren? Un, un supervisor llamémosle a un entrenador que esté encima de ustedes amenazándolos con que los va a despedir si no suben sus metas o no hacen bien su trabajo o alguien que esté a la par de ustedes comprometido a ayudarles a alcanzar lo que les hace falta. Second option. Second option, right? You don't need a boss, you need a leader. That's the point. You yes. don't need a boss, you need a leader. Mm -hmm. Now, research about the sandwich technique and explain it. How to provide feedback in a good way. Okay? That's it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm.
has to Um, I have to schedule the activities. Okay. Otra, otra, otra habilidad podría ser que uh -huh. another skill that could be is keep update, for example, oh. using all the software necessary for develop develop their job. Mm -hmm. it, it could be like like what they use programs and ah, como tech tech skill. Uh, like yes. Like Mm -hmm. o sea, use the computers as the basic is the basic the program So how you doing? We are searching information. <laughs> looking for. Uh, looking for.
write something about to learning? Learning. Those who like to learn languages must be in the world. learning is in Por ahí les mando el documento en donde vamos como poniéndola. La información. Ahí puse lo que acaba de mandar Fátima. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's give it a try. The point is for you to speak. Don't forget that. That's the whole point, okay? Now, Adriana is going to talk, so we're fine. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think we're back. Yes, we're back. So let's go with group number one, Hector, Jamie, Carla, and Vanessa. All yours. Hey, teacher, yesterday I started with the exposition. Okay. 
Not a problem. I'm gonna listen to you. Let's go with Ivan, Yolman, Lucy, and Nelson. <laughs> Group number three first. Okay, three, two, one. Eso, teacher. <laughs> okay, teacher. And my our work, I think that that the feedback is is the the way that a whole company used to to know about employee, maybe to know about skills in and how the employee develop their abilities, but but they the way that they use is give i think they give tasks to the employee to follow follow their their ability and after that they they see how they evaluate how work every single employee and And then maybe they talk their employee and tell him their their positive point and 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 they develop and the boss maybe they help in their skills. If uh, a bad or good point, they helping. And if they have a, a, a positive point, they help them to, I don't know, fortalece, strength, strength, I don't know how do you say fortalece. You just did strength, good. Strength. They help, they, they help to strength their qualities this is in my in my own world teacher okay only that mm, no. me, okay uh, for me is it's very important uh the good the good attitude be work with the employees uh the the way to talk with the employees is very important uh look and check the problems and uh, fix the problems and recognize the the good the good points the goals the the skills of the employees motivate and it's very important the, the attitude. You you the employees need a need a leader. Uh, the employees uh, need to to feel well to work okay. So I think it's it's important to achieve the the goals the different goals and and do a solution in the different problems just a... okay that's it okay Good job. Pay attention. Nelson, that was amazing. You're doing a terrific job. Let's work together on the pronunciation of strength. Strength. Repeat. Strength. One more time. It's difficult. It's difficult. No, no, nothing is difficult. You can do it. Just look and repeat. Okay. I doing <laughs> okay. That that's good. Number two, strength. 
strength. Perfect. You got it. You got it. That's the way. Okay. Awesome job. Just let's correct that together. Is there anything that I can do to help you? No. Okay. So thank you. Keep doing a great job. Hey, thank you, teacher. Eso, señores, es la técnica del sándwich. Positive, negativo, y ni cuenta se dio que le, le señalé la área de oportunidad, que en teoría es lo negativo, ¿verdad? Y luego un, un final statement positivo, y el empleado se queda, eso lo tenés que aplicar en tu trabajo, si tienes un puesto de supervisión. Súper bien lo que está haciendo, me llega cómo está trabajando, trabajemos juntos en esto, mira, hay que corregir esto, esto y esto y esto y esto. Incluso le sacas commitment, le sacas compromiso al empleado y le decís, ¿para cuándo cree que hoy es, hoy es jueves? No vamos a ir a trabajar mañana, es 15, ok. ¿Cree que para el lunes, como en eso de las 3, ya tenemos corregido esto? Perfecto. ¿Puedo pasar el lunes a las 3? Ok, fírmeme aquí. Perfecto, a las 3 de la tarde. Súper buen trabajo, Ramírez. Siga así, me llega cómo está trabajando. Espero el lunes pasamos y vemos que hayamos mejorado eso, ok. Gracias. Que tengan un feliz día. <risa> ¿Qué pasó, verdad? Es muy diferente a cuando tu jefe llega de un solo con patada del pecho, como decimos en El Salvador, y ¡pum! Hey, ¿Qué pasó? Te voy a despedir, mira, ¿cómo se trabaja? Mm. As Joelman said, Joelman said, they don't need a boss, they need a leader, and that's the good feedback. Good job, Joelman, great job, let's correct this together. Attitude. Joelman, attitude. Excellent, gentlemen. I see your lips. Attitude. Attitude. You got it. Attitude. And Attitude. Mm -hmm. they need to look and check the problems. And they need to find and resolve the problems. Not look and check. Look is look. Look. Okay. Uh, it's different to say find, and you have to find something, right? Oh, here it is. Okay. Resolve the problem. Okay. That's all the feedback. Great job um, doing this. Joelman, thank you. Group number two. Okay. <clears throat> Adriana, Daniel, Fatima, and Ruth. Thank you. Okay, okay. Sorry. I was thinking uh, uh, about Vanessa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So the topic uh, for us was about self-development. So we this we make a like a discuss <laughs> about um the point of view uh, of uh, development trainers and how they have to be. And for example, they have to take initiative and show participation and um, also a uh, good practice that they, they can have uh, is for example, read books about self-motivation and I think that is important because if they stay motivated um, in order, this will be important because in order to encourage uh, employees to develop their, uh, their skills. And also the, they have to be activated, active, Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. They have to be an uh, activate persons and also be kind with, with employees and, and try to learn about different things and also take care about, about their health. And because all these points that we have I have mentioned uh, are important because if they don't show uh, the people 
work, the workforce won't take seriously because if uh, you're saying me to an advice or something like that, um, I won't take if you don't show the uh, the um, the example uh, for the for the employees when they are like giving the training and sharing the content to the about self development. So that is. <laughs> yeah, the trainer needs to be a role model, a leader. And yeah, I'll give you a little bit more detail as I was explaining you. Good job. Yes, uh, the company expects the trainer development to be a role model and employees to see him and go like, man, I want to be like that guy. De hecho, yo he tenía entrenadores en varios call centers. Bueno, un call center tenía un entrenador que era chubby, o sea, chubby, pero musculoso. Siempre andaba un libro en la mano, se vestía bien. Las bichas lo seguían, por supuesto, ¿verdad? pero ese es otro punto. Pero él era un ejemplo a seguir. Vos lo veías y decías, uy, este está, tiene el six pack, o sea, pasa solo motivado todo el día, sonriendo para arriba y para abajo en la empresa. Todo el, estabas en la mañana, ahí estaba. Estabas en la noche, ahí estaba. Se le amaba su trabajo. So, ese es un ejemplo. <ríe> ok, uh, tenemos un minuto. What do you think? <ríe> Jamie, Carla, Vanessa. It's time to the attendees. <laughs> hey, for the next Save, week. Okay, Saved by the Bell. Okay, Saved by the Bell. Teacher, come on. Come on. Come on. Independent, <laughs> independent day. That's why. Let's, let's, let's be independent, Ivan. Let's be independent. And on Monday, we will have uh, this team showing us what they prepared okay um tonight i'm staying with who ruth ruth do you have a minute 10 minutes for a conversation me ignora okay and visto vanessa noemi <laughs> hey teacher it's time for ruth <laughs> yeah, well, she's not answering. What can I do? Is, is he here? She's she's sleeping, maybe. Let me do the attendance. Maybe she answers, okay? Adriana, <laughs> Jose, Sarna Duran. Present. Take care tomorrow. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Erika Jasmin Martinez Carpio. Oh. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Thank you. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present. Excellent. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Present. Thank you. Yolman Saúl Giron Sánchez. San. Jamie Falto. Carla Lorena. What? Oh, Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Uh, present. <laughs> Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Internet issues, okay. Nelson Antonio and Roda Rosales. Present. Thank you. Present. Uh, thank you, Carla. Ruth Isela, Joaquin Flores. Present. <laughs> Ten minutes. Teacher, I'm, I'm here, Lucy. I know, I know, Lucy. Thank you. Ruth, thank you. se puede quedar diez minutos. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> your your <laughs> big things. Your <laughs> big things. <laughs> Campos Flamenco. <laughs> no, Samantha is not here. Okay, no. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. I'll see you on Monday. Si toman, no manejen, por favor. See you. Tomorrow. See you. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. Let me help some of your classmates to leave. There we go. 
Ok, buenas noches Ruth, no se preocupe, esto no es una sesión de regaños ni nada, eso solo son 10 minutos para conversar con el teacher. Eh, es la primera vez que estamos juntos en este módulo, eh, yo suelo hacer esta sesión algo sencillo la primera vez. Eh, uso tres preguntas, la primera es que cuál ha sido su experiencia con, con el inglés, es decir, donde han dado rebotando sin mencionar nombres de academias, pero... Dice, ¿cuánto está queriendo aprender? La segunda es que en base a eso, eh, en base a su experiencia aprendiendo el inglés, ha logrado identificar qué es lo que más le cuesta. Es, es el, la lectura, la escritura, eh, el listening, o sea, el entender el inglés, o hablarlo, speaking. Y la tercera pregunta, ¿qué estoy haciendo yo, Ruth? Aparte de tomar estas dos horas de clase, ¿qué más hago para mejorarme, para poder atacar esas áreas de oportunidad. Ok. Buenas noches. <ríe> sí, es mi primera experiencia con inglés corporativo. Eh, solo he estado con, bueno, sí, dos academias. Uh -huh. eh, una, po, una, pues, en el 2000, inicié en el 2020 con, con esto de la de que se vino la pandemia. Entonces pasé a modalidad de modalidad presencial porque estaba los sábados toda la mañana a la modalidad virtual. Entonces, ¿Siempre en este programa? Así inicié, sí, eh, pero no, en una privada, en una academia privada. Uh -huh. eh, iba todos los sábados en la mañana empezando el básico, ¿verdad? De inglés uno presencial y pues para mí fue como que ahí aprendí, aprendí mejor como la base de cómo se podía empezar a estudiar el inglés, eh, los verbos, las modalidades. En ese entonces estábamos con el básico, ¿verdad? Es como que hacer guías, escribir, conversar con otras personas, o sea, presencial, había más presión. Luego, pues, eh, ya no continué porque la modalidad virtual no era tanto para mí. Bueno, de ahí se, se me presentó la oportunidad de entrar con Insafor, con una academia diferente. Ellos manejaban una plataforma Casi que full, full el trabajo era en, la, en esa plataforma. Entonces nosotros hablábamos en esa plataforma y nos daba como un porcentaje de qué tanto mencionábamos bien la palabra. Y era como de leer texto y responder las preguntas. A la vez también era en la misma plataforma de hablarlo, había bastantes como herramientas, pero todo era virtual, no había tanto como a quién preguntarle si teníamos dudas, sino que nosotros teníamos que rebuscarnos como del por qué se escribe así o el por qué se escribe Era más de auto, autoaprendizaje. Oh, era no, correcto, así es como he empezado a sacar más como pues ahí terminé, digamos, los básicos. No, las clases eran como dos o tres veces por semana. Eh, así presencial, así como estamos con usted. No podíamos solventar tanto las dudas. Eran bastantes estudiantes también conectados. Y pues era más como que nos evaluaban qué tanto trabajamos en la plataforma. ¿Y esa plataforma no, era propia de esa academia o, o era no, de terceros? Era de terceros. Así como no Duolingo, era, digamos. No. Parecida, ajá. Ah, Pero okay. sí estaba como, como, como hecha para, para, para el, el programa. trabajo, para el programa de inglés, uh -huh, para, para empresas, con temas de eso. Y... Pues así me quedé en los básicos, el intermedio hasta ahí. Oh. Empecé con el avanzado, pero yo me consideraba o me considero que le entiendo más a la escritura, porque oh. por la plataforma que nos, 
que en la que he venido de la modalidad, todo era más como de lectura, comprensión, ¿verdad? Entonces no era de, de hablarlo o escribirlo porque ya estaba escrito. Uh -huh. No teníamos ejercicios de esos. Y por eso se me dificulta escribirlo. Uh -huh. Y pues a la vez obviamente hablarlo, porque yo lo que más le entiendo es a la escritura, a leer. La, eso es la comprensión, se me da bastante. Uh -huh. Y pues eso quizás sería como mi potencial y la debilidad es hablar lo que es. tal vez tengo la idea, pero no sé si es lo correcto, entonces soy muy dudosa en eso. Uh -huh. Sin embargo, siento que es uno de los grandes retos que tengo, porque a mí me gusta el inglés, yo sí lo quiero aprender, y pues todavía no me considero estar en un avanzado, pero, pero sí voy a, <ríe> como, es, como el, su nombre lo dice, avanzar en fortalecer lo demás, porque sí tengo bastantes vacíos en eso, uh -huh. y el espacio, pues, de... de ¿Y qué está haciendo más, para pues, intentar mejorar un poco? Eh, bueno, ahorita no me ha quedado mucho tiempo, porque el, la desventaja de este curso es que no es como, tanto como que continuo, ¿verdad? Yo la verdad me había... De, desenfocado, ya desde el año pasado ya no había estado en un curso de inglés y por lo tanto me había como que mm. desconectado uh -huh. y ya ahora que lo he retomado es como que mm, necesito fortalecer todo de nuevo porque sí, como le digo, sí le entiendo todo lo que significa, pero sí se me dificulta bastante hablarlo ya para una modalidad de sentirme en un avanzado y pues eso, casi no me queda mucho tiempo, pero ahorita me agarró como que el curso como que es mi oportunidad y, y voy a ver cómo estoy y así me voy a, como me voy a motivar para continuar y ver las áreas en las que de verdad me he descontinuado bastante y que no es lo mismo. Cada, y, cada pequeño esfuerzo, cada pasito que usted da hacia una meta, la va a acercar a ella si ya nos avanza en lugar de quedarse estática donde estaba en el caso del aprendizaje va a retroceder porque no es igual que aprender a andar en bicicleta o manejar no se logra por inercia en teoría, ¿verdad? no se logra por inercia la, el conocimiento ahora, ¿qué, qué le hace falta? Si, si lo que le hace falta es hablar e irónicamente comprende a leer ya tiene lo necesario para hablar. Entonces, ¿qué falta? Confianza. Y más que confianza, yo le llamo atrevimiento. En su caso, digamos, o sea, porque lo que me explica, yo le diría atrevimiento. Tire ese hombre. Así digas, ah, voy a hablar. Ah, que me sal, a lo que me sal, Ay, que se rían. Si tomo esto, esta gente ni la voy a volver a ver después de que termine este modo, pero yo tengo que hablar. ¿Qué pierde? A mí no me va a volver a ver probablemente. ¿Sí me explico? No, no, es... no, no, en serio, piense, la vida es así. La vida es así, uno va por etapas, va conociendo gente, después ya no lo vuelve a ver. Tal vez allá el tiempo lo vuelve a encontrar. Pero es de aprovechar el momento. Vivir el momento, ok, no tengo mucho tiempo, solo tengo unas dos horas. Yo, cuando el teacher diga algo, lo voy a contestar. Lo voy a intentar. ¿Sí? Eh... La miro bien joven, no espere a que sea muy tarde, porque el problema es, y yo por experiencia se lo digo, ya llevo, Dios mío, siete años aquí con inglés corporativo, diez años en total dando clases, pero con adultos, con este programa, he entendido que, que entre mayor se está, porque he tenido alumnos hasta de 69 años, entre mayor se está, eh, más paradigmas tiene uno y la cabeza se vuelve un cuadro cerrado, que no acepta ideas nuevas, ya no quiere así, así actúa el cerebro, llega un punto en el que dice ah, no voy a aprender nada más, o sea, ya para qué y él se dedica es irónico, pero estudia un poco eso y el cerebro empieza ya a dedicarle más tiempo a guiar el cuerpo, a mantener el equilibrio, porque todo eso lo controla ¿no? y en sí. cuanto ya al raciocinio, al grabarse información, ya le da pereza con la edad entonces por eso es lo que, ahí viene el problema ¿no? ahorita, entonces ahorita aprovecho la ahorita, ¿cómo lo hago? 
ya tengo una base, como se dice, ¿no? Suéltese. ¿Qué va a perder? Dice Will Smith, lo único que se requiere es para dar el salto. Lo que te da miedo es el salto, dice. No sé si he visto ese video que él sí. hace ese, ese ejemplo, ¿no? Está a la orilla del helicóptero y se tiró del avión y se iba a tirar en un paracaídas. Y no le tenía miedo a, 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 al hecho de ir volando. O sea, confiaba en el paracaídas y todo. Lo que él tenía miedo era saltar, dar ese paso. Lo mismo. <risa> Entonces, ánimo, hombre, ánimo, dele, de verdad. Si tanto tiempo tiene ya de estar luchando, inténtelo. Mire, yo le digo a Nelson, Nelson ha sido el único que se ha aplicado con esto, y yo le digo, todos los cursos, yo ofrezco lo mismo, pero nadie me escribe. ¿Sí? Y, y si algo me decía buen profesor antes, y ya, bueno, pues esto ahí, no sé, es esto, el compromiso con los alumnos. Entonces, yo le digo, mándeme un, cor un, un audio de no más de 30 segundos contestando cualquier pregunta que se le ocurra con WH. What did you do yesterday? Escríbala, contesta usted sola y ya cuando agarre un poquito de confianza le he practicado, ok, se la voy a grabar. 30 segundos. Uy, me pasé. Bueno, pero ahí va. El audio. ¿Qué hago yo? Recibo el audio, le envío feedback escrito y le grabo cómo se pronuncian las palabras. Suena tonto, pero eso funciona bastante. Sí, funciona. Ok. Ánimo, eso es lo más importante, practicar, ¿ok? Vaya, tirarme. <ríe> Fíjese. Okay. ok, Ruth, good night, have some rest. Good night, bye.